It may be the case that you should do the exact opposite of what mom always said. Don't take your vitamins. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here. In America, more than 110 million people take vitamin supplements every year. We know the vitamins themselves are a good thing. They help your body carry out important chemical reactions, like vitamin A, which helps your eyes produce retinol so you can see, or vitamin C, which helps produce collagen so you can have strong bones and blood vessels. The line I'm thinking is, vitamins, good for me. More vitamins in a super pill? Even better, take all the vitamin supplements. The problem is that scientists say, hold up a minute, though more isn't always better, and whether or not the supplements are actually good for you is still a big fat question mark, especially since there's one very startling theme in the research, cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, intestinal cancer, particularly for people who already had some health risks and were taking more than the recommended amount of a vitamin. In 1994 and then again in 1996, the New England Journal of Medicine published studies on vitamin supplements which included nearly 50,000 patients. In the first study, smokers were given a daily supplement of vitamin E, beta carotene, both, or placebo. And the group taking the supplements were more likely to die of lung cancer or heart disease. In the second study, the group that took supplements were dying from lung cancer at a rate 28% higher than those who didn't, and dying from heart disease at a rate 17% higher. And in 2004, the University of Copenhagen reviewed trials that tracked 170,000 people taking vitamin supplements to prevent intestinal cancer. The scientists wrote that Contrary to what they expected to find, the supplements seemed to increase mortality. They identified that death rates were 6% higher in those that took supplements. In 2005, both Johns Hopkins and the Journal of the American Medical Association found that those who took vitamin E were more likely to experience heart failure. In 2007, the National Cancer Institute found that men taking supplements were twice as likely to die of prostate cancer. In 2011, the University of Minnesota evaluated women taking supplemental zinc, magnesium, copper, and iron, and found that they had died early earlier and at higher rates. Today, no national or international public health organization recommends that healthy people use supplements. And why are the vitamins increasing cancer risk? More research is needed, but scientists think the antioxidant effect of vitamin supplements may be a situation where there's just too much of a good thing. They destroy free radicals more quickly than normal, which throws the immune system off kilter and makes it harder to ward off bacteria and new cancer cells. In other words, man-made vitamins just don't work as well as natural vitamins do. Until we have more conclusive answers about how much we need and what the best ways to get it are, public health officials recommend getting your vitamins and minerals from your food. Thanks for joining me for DNews, everyone. Tell me what you think about taking vitamin supplements down below. We'll be back soon with more science updates.